So my favorite animation movie is uh, Shrek and you know who doesn't like Shrek and I especially like this dialogue from the movie where uh, Shrek says that uh, you know ogres and onions they have a lot in common and what he says is that they have layers and layers and layers uh, in their personality so both of them are very complicated uh, creatures and uh, they have you know uh, multiple layers uh, to their uh, character and their uh, personality and what i want to emphasize in this video is that uh, the liquid uh, crystal display or the lcds which are the most prevalent display we see uh, in our day-to-day -day electronics in our smartphones in our tablets uh, in uh, our televisions they are uh, very much like that as well so uh, shown here is uh, you know a cross-section picture which shows the multiple layers uh, in a liquid uh, crystal uh, display and uh, to describe it a little more so there are you know as you can just see over here there are layers and layers and layers of things and each of them is uh, you know doing something or achieving a particular function that is uh, enabling uh, this uh, display so the very first layer, uh, you know, starting from the below, starting from the bottom and all the way to the surface. So this is the bottom and this is the surface of my LCD. So I see like, you know, seven or eight layers uh, in, uh, in between uh, this uh, two bottom and top surface. And uh, the very first layer at the bottom is the backlight. So this is uh, something which is, uh, you know, giving the brightness uh, to the lcd so this could be you know many of these uh, cathode uh, fluorescent uh, tubes or uh, many a time in our tablets these are these are leds which are placed either at the very side of our display and uh, and then there's a diffuser in here which uh, diffuses this light coming from the sides and diffuses it evenly and uh, distributes and projects it uh, in the in the upward direction so there this could be either by uh, this backlight could be either powered by uh, you know a cathode ray or fluorescent uh, tubes or it could be powered by leds or these leds could be very much at the side so it could be a side or edge leds so this light from uh, the backlight is then uh, first passed through uh, the polarizer and note that there are two polarizers over there there's one polarizer towards the bottom let's call it as polarizer uh, let me write it down in the proper color so this is polarizer one and then this is polarizer two so the very first polarizer it uh, polarizes the light in a you know one particular polarization so let's say it has a polarization looking like this so all the light will have a polarization like this then this light is uh, passed through uh, it has to pass through this uh, this uh, thin film transistor back plane or tft uh, back plane and uh, this essentially this is the set of uh, transistors which apply voltage uh, to our liquid uh, crystal layer and they control uh, you know each of the individual pixels of our liquid crystal display so then we have this tft uh, back plane and our light has to pass through it and you know the area which is uh, over here covered by transistors so the light will be blocked by these uh, transistors which are you know partially occupying or blocking the light and there's an important uh, metric over there called the fill factor which determines you know how much of this area on this back plane is uh, blocked by these uh, thin flame transistors and that degrades you know the overall uh, efficiency of light or the percentage of light that we can uh, pass through so the next layer on top of uh, these uh, TFT backplane is the liquid crystal and I'll just talk about it a uh, little more uh, very soon but these liquid crystal essentially when you apply a voltage on them they uh, they can essentially manipulate the polarization of the light so they can uh, 
they can either bend the polarization of the light coming in or they can uh, you know uh, if you uh, whether it's on or off it could either bend the polarization of the light or it could do nothing to the polarization of the light and then on the top we have essentially these uh, color filters which uh, determine uh, determine whether the pixel is uh, red green or blue so remember all the backlight which is coming from uh, below is all white and the only way you define colors is by passing that light uh, through these uh, color filters so they allow just either the red green or blue light and they block the others and that way you determine uh, what is the color of the pixel so remember this is a very inefficient way because we are generating white light and then we are uh, you know rejecting all the other uh, all the other you know components and just letting pass through the red green and blue components and on the way top we have a polarizer layer uh, again and the unique thing about that pol this polarizer layer is that it has an opposite polarizer or it has a 90 degree uh, pol uh, as compared to the polarizer one it has you know a polarization which is orthogonal to polarizer one so this these two polarizer in uh, in conjunction with our liquid crystal display determine whether the light passes through or not so now to understand how LCD uh, actually works, what I'm showing over here is a zoomed in view which shows one pixel of my, uh, each individual pixel of my LCD display. And as you can see, it has uh, two polarizer. This is polarizer one and this is uh, polarizer uh, two. So, and then you have liquid crystal in between them. So this would be where your liquid uh, crystal is. And this polar, these two polarizer are uh, arranged orthogonal, orthogonal to each other. So as you can see over here, this has a polarization like this. And this has a polarization which is orthogonal to this. So this has a polarization like this. So what happens in this liquid crystal, uh, liquid crystals is that uh, they are, these are these uh, organic uh, molecules which have these helical structure. So if you don't apply any voltage uh, on your liquid crystal, so essentially if you have this liquid crystal and you just essentially have this open circuit over here, these uh, liquid crystal by default, they have, you know, this helical, they are arranged in this helical manner and uh, what they do is they they rotate the polarization of the light coming in so our light as you can see we passed it through this polarizer one on the top so it has a polarization which look like this and what these liquid crystal molecules if you don't apply any voltage on them what they do is essentially they rotate the light such that it now has an orthogonal polarization so if you do not apply any voltage on this liquid crystal they uh, just rotate these polarization of the light and since these two polarizers have uh, orthogonal uh, polarization the light passes through and essentially i i get or i can say this pixel allows the light to pass through uh, on the other hand what you if you want to turn off this uh, pixel or you want to uh, don't allow any light through it what you do is you apply a potential across this liquid crystal. So what you do is you apply a potential across uh, this uh, liquid crystal. And these liquid crystal are, they have, uh, these molecules of these liquid crystal have uh, polarization, some amount of inherent polarization in them. So they all line up uh, in the direction of uh, the electric field. And now you can see that uh, now when the light uh, is uh, coming in, so it comes in and it passes through this polarizer. So all of the light has the polarization of this polarizer. And then when it uh, passes through the liquid crystal, the liquid crystal does not bend the light anymore. So when it comes through this second polarizer, uh, this has an orthogonal polarization. So no light can pass through and the pixel appears as if uh, it's a... Uh, it's uh, it's black or it uh, it's essentially does not allow the light to pass through so this liquid crystal it seems like you know a very nice guy it can uh, when you don't apply any voltage to it it uh, by default does all the work for you it turns the polarization of the light around and uh, the light passes through and my pixel is on 
when i apply a voltage on it you know it mines itself it does not bother or does not touch with the polarization of uh, the light and i uh, i get uh, uh, no light through my pixel and my pixel is uh, off but uh, you know there's a cache to it there's uh, although it does this uh, thing very nicely and uh, you know it uh, it, uh, it it can do this thing infinite number of times uh, one of the limitation is that it's not very efficient so when it uh, you know when you apply a voltage and you don't want any light to leak through this you know some light which leaks through this uh, liquid crystal because it's not 100% efficient uh, in you know come it still will bend some of the light or you know some of the light will still leak through these uh, two polarizer think of these you know as you have two shades then they are placed uh, perpendicular and you have two sh of these shades on the window but there will be some light which uh, still leak through so it's it does not have a 100% efficiency of uh, you know turning the light off at the same time you know when you turn uh, when you don't apply a voltage uh, they it turns the uh, polarization of the light so that it can pass through but again it does not have 100 percent efficiency for this process as well so there's always some intensity loss when you pass the light through this uh, liquid crystal and keep in mind that you'll be having two of these electrodes through which the light has to pass through as well so shown here is uh, is uh, one of these uh, pixels uh, which has uh, the color filters as well so this is a individual pixel and then when you want to uh, generate each of these rgb colors what you do is you have these uh, three color filters over here so this would be a red uh, this would be a green and this would be a blue color filter and uh, again you can see that over here you have these uh, you have this in this case it has these uh, cathode ray uh, backlight but it could be very much a led based uh, backlight or even a edge led based uh, backlight which is commonly used in your uh, smartphone and your tablets and then these essentially these uh, backlights uh, they generate this light and it passes through my first polarizer so this is my uh, polarizer one uh, think of it like a shade on your window so all the light passes through this shade so it has that particular uh, polarization and now it uh, i run through this uh, glass which is my substrate and then i have this liquid crystal over here and I apply the voltage on these uh, liquid crystal using uh, two of uh, two of my transparent electrodes. So shown here is one of this uh, electrode. So this would be electrode uh, one, and it's these electro electrodes are made up of. Uh, uh, these uh, conducting and transparent uh, oxide so it's called uh, transparent uh, conducting uh, electrode and the material which is most commonly used to make these is uh, indium tin oxide or ITO so I have two of these electrodes this is uh, the first electrode and this is the second electrode and they are essentially used to apply I use these electrodes to apply a voltage on uh, my uh, liquid crystal or don't apply any voltage so what they do essentially is again when you uh, either if you apply a voltage or you don't apply a voltage it will uh, either bend the polarization of the light and it will let it through or it would not bend the polarization of the light and the second polarizer is orthogonal to my uh, first polarizer so i can uh, i'll either get light or not get light through this liquid crystal and then what i do is i pass it through a color filter so this color filter what it does is essentially it uh, uh, the light which is coming in it only lets the red component of this uh, pass through and similarly this other color filter it uh, lets only the green component pass through and this other color filter it lets only the blue component pass through so these uh, and that's how I get these individual RGB colors and then I can combine these three or you know combine them in whichever way I want uh, these primaries to give me the required uh, color so each of these RGB is you know controlled uh, individually and then I can uh, you know control the amount of uh, 
uh, light or even the intensity of each of these RGB uh, individually and then I can combine these three primaries to give me any color I want. So one thing I want to point out is you know how inefficient this uh, process is. So all these layers what they're doing is each of these layers think of it you know that each of these layer if you come with an intensity i you only get a fraction of that intensity after uh, passing through this each of these individual layers so this x is always between zero and one for each of these layers so think of how many layers you have over here so you have this polarizer one then you have this glass substrate so this you know this is layer one this is layer two then you have this uh, another uh, electrode so this would be layer three then you have the liquid crystal this would be layer four then you have this uh, alignment layer this is layer five then you have this another electrode which is the second electrode to apply voltage on your liquid crystal that's your layer six then you have this uh, color filter that's another layer then you have a uh, you will top it off with you know another um, another glass substrate so that's so each of these layers you know if it has a if it has an efficiency of x to pass the light through i'll get you know compounded uh, of uh, these different uh, efficiency of these different layers and that essentially limits my overall uh, brightness of my lcd so it makes the whole uh, process uh, uh, very inefficient at the same time I have uh, I have these color filters and uh, the, each of these guys is only letting one third of the light through them so I you know I, I pay I spend so much time and you know uh, getting or controlling this light and getting it all the way till here and then when I'm passing through this color filter I'm reject rejecting essentially two third of my light and only letting my uh, blue or in this case green or red light pass through so all these inefficiencies uh, combine up and uh, they uh, the overall uh, efficiency of this whole if you you know if you pass a uh, hundred uh, uh, photons of uh, light from over here you only get like five photons out from here so it's a very inefficient uh, process and uh, that's something to keep in mind and it comes from having all these multiple layers to your LCD.